Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today I would like to show you how to create this really organic shape of the bango. Are you ready? Let's get started. Before we started, if you've been watching my video, you like my video, please consider joining the membership that is allow me to create more video for you and for many other people. So let's take a look on this uh, bango. It has really nice and smooth join over here. It's not done by the sub D that the Rhino 7 has it, but I just want to show you my little trick to uh, achieve this type of the design. First of all, let's go ahead to create oval. Starting with the zero, I want to have one side is 30, holding my shift, and roughly about this size. And then I can also uh, trim it off on the opening for whatever, how big of the opening you want it. And let's also go ahead to mirror to the other side. And using those two to trim off, the middle one so we no longer need any of those uh, trimming tool we're gonna delete all of them the second things i wanted to do it's coming into the right view and i want to create an arc here so the arc can be any of this size and snapping into the middle i just want to make sure that they are aligned so that's also using an align tool to align right in the center by typing a zero here Okay, so having this, uh, if I sweep one, it's going to come in from here and just stop it there. Uh, I do want to have a continuous piece and I do want to have a little shape but different on the bottom. So right at the bottom here, I also want to create a straight line and the straight line go from the middle to be roughly about this size and having a same straight line, it's going to mirror to the other side from the center of a zero. So now I have all the curve for me to do the sweeping. Let's go ahead to create a surface. We want to go uh, sweep one rail. We're going to go from here, here to here. And then we can creating this uh, surface. You could uh, record your history. And if you don't like it, you like it not as uh, not as uh, bumpy, so you can kind of moving this down. It's because you record a history, uh, then everything else will follow. Okay, so now we have this, we need to do our own design. I'm going to create a UV curve, and it's going to create a UV curve over here. So that means if this stretching up, it will look like this. Okay, so we are going to do our design over here, and then we're going to flow it back here. Uh, first of all, I would like to have the bottom is a little bit rounded. So I'm going to come over to my top view. And I would like to create an arc. And it's going to go into snapping here and here. And snapping right at the midpoint. So that way it will be a little bit rounder. Same thing is going to happen on the other side. So let's mirror to the other side. So I'm going to making a copy of this one and hiding one of it so we can trim it around. So I'm going to select everybody and that's using the trim command to trim all the extra we don't need it. And I also don't want it to have this harsh edges. So let's, let's go ahead to use the fillet and I'm going to try something a little bit bigger, maybe 10 and see how that goes. So then it will be a little bit rounded there. Now let's go ahead to do the design. I would like to have the design uh, spontaneous going from one to the other. So you can you can kind of uh, doing whatever design you want. I'm going to speed it up this process. All right, so you can keep editing if you want to. For me, I'm going to stop it over there. So first of all, let me join all the outside edges. So that's going to join it. And we are going to do the piping. So we're going to select everybody beside the outside. And we are going to use the pipe command. And let's try the pipe radius for two. 
and then we get something like this and of course you can make them smaller or whatever look nicer i think two is a little bit too big it doesn't look elegant so i'm going to try 1.3 all right it look better and this one i actually want them to be a little bit thicker so i want to try 1.5 maybe so that will look a little bit nicer. All right, so let's go ahead to boiling all of them. All right, so if you have things like that, it's showing it's fell over there. I have a set of a video. I'm going to put it on the right top corner over here. Uh, that will show you a lot of uh, uh, the reason that why it is not working in certain area. Uh, probably because the seam is aligned. So what I wanted to do is actually make this one slightly smaller and moving around like that oops and then this guy might need to move a, a little bit otherwise is stick it out there something like that and let's do one more time all right so the second time bowling unit is showing a different uh, spot has the problem so what you can do is you can bowling union one by one for example i'm going to bowling union those two first and then I'll ball in this one, and then I'll ball in this one. So it's not bowling union all of them at once, and there are reasons that bowling doesn't work, probably because the seam is aligned, it, and uh, also possibly uh, there's too many bowling at once. So the computer cannot do um, a good calculation, is because it needs to calculate everything at once. So to solve this problem, simply you just need to ball in one by one, or at least less than, you know, then try to ball in everything at once. So that might help them. Uh, and also if you ball in them uh, by section, it, it may also um, fix the seam problem. All right, so I know there's a problem over there. All I need to do is kind of moving, maybe moving this guy just off a little bit and maybe tilt it just a little bit. I just need to make sure that this guy is not stick it out, so I may want to scale it down. It's not going to change the overall look that much uh, because those minor changes, but it will help you a lot without you know, issue on that. You see, it, what it's showing is almost like where the seam is. So basically, I'm just going to scale it down a little bit and moving to this side. And let's do the bowling one more time. All right. Most of the time, this little trick will fix it and that's bowling the rest of them. All right. So now we have everything is ready. Um, as you can see on the render, for the render like this, you see this hard edges there, but we want to get it round. You could do is fill the edges on each of them, but it's going to take a lot of the time. Let's try one of them. And we want to try a radius for something small, and we want to fill the edges over here. And this one will work fine, but when you have more complicated pieces, you might having a problem. So my trick is like this. I'm going to pick up this one and I'm all going to turn them into the mesh. Um, if you don't want to uh, mess up with all the numbers here, that you can go into a simple control and just see you want fill polygon or more polygon. And then you can hit review and that will give you something like that. So that's it, this is what we want. I'm going to move this one outside here and just dealing with our mesh. Now, when you're dealing with the mesh like this, it's still showing it's really hard. You can make them a little bit softer by going to the commands called smooth. And you can smooth it out. You know, as you can see, if you smooth it out a little bit, it will also automatically correcting all those sharp corner. So I'm going to smooth out a little bit more and you don't want to do it too extreme because you might have an uh, one default there. So now we have this one. Let's take a look on our render view. Now you get this rounded. This is what I mean by a one default there, but just be really careful. Um, if you happen to have that too much showing up, you may want to go back before you smooth it. For this demonstration, I'm going to not tweaking it, but keep uh, working on uh, making it into the bango, and then you can spend some time on it. So we want to open this curve right there. This is where that we have our curve. 
I want to make sure that my uh, shape is fitting inside of this original curve. And then um, otherwise when you flow it back, it may stick it out there. And I also want to make this into a surface. So that's using the surface from planar curve. And then we are ready to flow. I might need to move this one down a little bit. Oops. I might need to move my object up a little bit so it doesn't change the bangle size. All right, so we are going to come into the transform. You have flow along surface, and then you pick up your object, pick up one of the corner, and then you pick up the other corner. And it, it flow is really weird is because the orientation is wrong. So I'm going to come back here, do it one more time. So let's do one more time. I want to flow along surface. I want to pick up here click on this edges there and then click on this edges over there so then you will see this hopping on that surface if you hiding the surface all you have is a bangle that is fitting into your original surface there are a lot more member only videos on the membership program i hope to see you there thank you for watching see you next